Hello everybody, my name is Kate Demar. Welcome back for another video of NHL 19 Franchise Mode. We're gonna continue this series. Now, in the last video, we started off the first half of the season all the way up to 50 games, actually. We managed to do a little bit more than we did the previous time we cut it in half. Now, we did, we're doing pretty good, actually. Decent enough to be uh, racing for the playoffs. We want to make sure to really get a chance into the playoffs right here. Um, we are in the toughest division of the West, so we really need to work for it big time. So let's just hope it's going to work out, really. I want to I want to make it to the playoffs. I really do. Our best player is Jesper Fast in the first line, uh, 35 points. I really want him to make it to the playoffs. We're not going to waste any time. I already looked at the... Uh, the uh, trades, the stats, and everything. Uh, we can't. We don't have any trades to do. So two, uh, basically all the way up to uh, the last game, if I believe. So uh, we're gonna go to the 29th because the the first is the uh, trade deadline. So if we need to do any trades uh, up until then, we'll we'll see what we have to do. Uh, really, I'm just excited to. To see if there's going to be any trades our team is going to do or, or something like that. I don't think so. I'm just hoping that our team is going to go, do uh, good at this point of the year. Because we're going to really need it. Now, Gramner is injured. So, we're going to have to replace him. He's on the first our first liner, basically. Gramner got injured a lot in this series. And that's not good at all. This year, in particular, he got injured a lot. He was supposed to be our, our, a good player, or probably our best player when you think about it. He, he keeps getting on in, he keeps uh, keeps on getting injured, so that's not good at all for us. Uh, Flory got injured too, so now our best left winger and our best goaltender are both injured. That's like, what are we gonna do now? Honestly, all of our players are keep getting injured and everything. How are we supposed to do anything? It's just. Like, we need to win games right now, but it's not working out at all for us. Um, at least we've got, we still got Grabauer in there, which is really good. He's a starting goaltender, so he can pretty basically do the job very fine. There we go. We've got some gold goaltender. Goaltender-wise, we're good. We're pretty good. And Yimi is a veteran, so he can play in the uh, as a backup, no problem, you know. Can do the job as well. So it's not too bad. And Fleury is back already. Let me just put him back already then. See, this is what I don't like though. <laughs> they say he's injured, but then he, uh, he gets back in 10 seconds. Like crazy. It's really crazy. Now we got to put back Niemi in there. So that's just... Like it's annoying to do that all the time. You got to switch every time. Everybody up and up and... It's really annoying that I gotta do the lineups every time. There we go. Fortunate enough, it's the goalie, so it's it's uh, way more uh, it's way qu quicker. But still, it's pretty annoying. Now, no more injuries uh, uh, popping off or something. Okay, I just want my team to have a decent simulation to have a chance at least at the playoffs. If you keep on. Uh, injury injuring my players it's not gonna work out you know so far we're having a good month I don't want to really jinx myself but we are really having a good month so after the month uh, this first month that we simulate the month of February basically can't talk right now I don't know why I can't talk I can't uh, s make uh, good sentences for some reason but we we did fine we did fine after this month we got another victory right there, so we basically end up with a record of 8-2, 8-1-2, uh, basically. So that's really good, a record of 8-1-2 for um, the last, uh, I guess, the last month. So that's really good record to put us up in an actual, the, like the actual top three on our division, which is really good. We're 74 points right now. Uh, we're not going to beat the, the Jets or the Blues, that's for sure. But if we can manage to stay up there and on a regular basis, win a, on a, a more regular basis and beat the Nashville Predators, that would be pretty good for us. It would be, 
uh, in a good spot. So that's really good. Our best player right now seems like it's Brassard. Every time we come back after a month and stuff, it's always a different player that's the best one <laughs> or some for, for some reason. So looks like Brassard is actually doing fine. He has Perfast as well with Skevier. Skevier is actually helping them out. They, they are, these two are not playing well with Gramner, it seems like, or something like that. I don't know why. I don't know if it's a, if either it's Grabner or maybe it's not Grabner because he got injured most of the uh, the year. That's really not good, really. But these guys overall are playing fine together. Look, uh, all the lineups are playing very well together except for the first line. It's the only one that's having a troubling time. It's because it never was properly together the entire year. And I think we're good for the rest as well. All right, so I'm just looking at the AHL just to see if we got anybody that's ready to play. I don't think there's anybody ready to play, really. There's a, a top nine right here. Okay, we're good. No, I think we're good. Uh, goaltender, uh, defense-wise, not at all. The goaltender, not at all as well. So we're good. We don't have to make any trades whatsoever. Um, so we're pretty good where we are. So let's just go ahead and simulate the next month a month of march i believe it's going to be the entire the last entire month of simulation since the month of april april there's usually three or four games only left in the season itself so this is going to be a clutch month right there this is officially probably our last month we really need to clutch it really need to do something good with it and um Hopefully, we're going to be able to have a good month and everything. Now, we got two of our defensemen in the AHL that got injured. God damn. Now, we started off with a three-game losing streak, which is not good. We won one, but another loss. Uh, Grabner is finally back in the team. Let's hope that he doesn't get injured again. Because how many times did he get injured? That It's just crazy, in my opinion. In my opinion. Uh, Palmu is, is back as well, defense-wise, so Palmu, I guess you're going to go, where was he? No, that's, okay, so Palmu was not, huh, oh, he was, uh, Palmu was actually uh, a forward, all right, all right, let's go, uh, let's go continue simulation, that's another loss right there, I hate those losses, I don't want to see those losses, come on, I want points at least, as much points as possible, I want wins, and all of that good stuff. All right, Jordy Ben back in the AHL. Oh my God, the injuries are hurting us badly, guys. But they're coming back up. All of our players are back now. We don't have any more injuries. Let's hope that we don't have any more uh, than that. It's, it's done and done for now, you know. Just leave us alone, for Christ's sake. Come on, if we get to the 40 win uh, mark... We have a chance to play off. If we don't get to the 40 wins, we're not going to make the playoffs. That's for sure. So come on now. Oh my god, no. Margie Mackey got injured. Okay, I think I got to put that down. I think I'm going to have to put the injuries thing down, boys. Because everybody's just keep ge just keep getting injured. And now we're at 38. Like we had a horrible month of March, which is not what I wanted. We're still third in our division. Look at this, 87. But because it's only 38 wins, we are not clinching just yet. See that? Oh my God, we just need one or two wins and we uh, we are clinching it. We just need one or two wins. Come on, guys. Just do it. We've got three... How many games? We've got three, more than three games, actually. We've got plenty of games remaining. Unless I'm mistaking, but... No, we got more than three games. Like, look at this. So we got to do something with this. We got room to to spare right now. So let's just do it already. Now I gotta figure out a way to uh, to change my rules or something for my uh, my team because there we go. Fully healed only, only when they're fully healed. Why is it not like doing that? Come on now. Stop messing me we're with me, game. All right. So next thing, I guessing we just need to continue simulating. Really, I need my team to win. There's nothing I can really do to help out that much. 
I just needed to win. I guess the injuries drew them off a little bit. I need to... I just need them to focus. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five games remaining. We just probably need one or two out of those five that we need to win. So it's not complicated. We just need to win one or two. So just do it already. We got a point. Okay, let's just uh, stop the simulation. Three lose... Three losses in a row to start it off. Are we still in it? Now we're in. See, Nashville Predators clinched it. Oh my god. I think we are going to make it to the playoffs just because the, our wild card is much better than theirs. But fucking, for Christ's sake, we were third and we. Like, how many losses in a row is there? Like, we're in the very big end of the year, guys, and we're starting to. A play like shit, basically. I don't know what is what's going on here. Oh my god! And how we're gonna manage to make it to the playoffs without 40 wins is beyond me. Absolutely beyond me. What the actual living hell? Like I just want to look really quick how many losses that that is. That's one. Uh, that's four losses right there. Up to that. Five, six, seven, eight, eight losses in a row. To finish off the year. Like how do you even do that? Like how is that even possible for a team? That's uh, nine losses in a row. Just continue to lose. Why don't you? You stupid goddamn idiots. Goddamn horrible team. Now we're turning off. We're in danger. We're just lucky that the other way. the On the other side is the goddamn Arizona Coyotes. And the Edmonton Oilers. Who are t horrible teams. Like we're just lucky that. These are the team we're competing with. Because otherwise we would be way gone a long time ago. For Christ's sake. We had... We we were doing fine in February. We go in March. We start losing a lot. And then we go on... Uh, we end this season with a 9 game losing streak. Probably a 10 game losing streak too. We're probably going to lose against the Arizona Coyotes. Which... Uh, even if we lose against them at this point. we are We are in their playoffs officially. But... For Christ's sake, what is wrong with us? What is wrong? Honestly, I want to know. Like, why are we playing so bad? No, the team is doing fine. Jesper Fast is a big problem, though. Seems like Jesper Fast is really a big time problem. I should probably move up Shaden. Just to see if it's going to work out, maybe. I don't know. Like, sniper, two way forward, grinder. All right. We've got a sniper, two way forward, sniper. Let's try it out that way, I guess. I don't, like, I don't even know. We got Skev, you're playing there. That's because uh, Marjo Mackey is injured. Okay. For Christ's sake, I mean, all I want, and also, it's our goalie that's giving uh, us, that gave us all these nine losses. All right, I'm putting out this all on, on Gerbauer. So, Flory, come on, get in there. Do your goddamn job and make me win this game, all right? For Christ's sake, it's getting annoying. I want to win this last game. We're even going to go into simulation like this. Simulation time. Uh, modern simulation time. We'll see how it goes. So, first period, for Christ's sake. I'm done with this team. Fucking Krakens are going to be like Detroit all over again, guys. I swear. We're just lucky that the playoffs I made them so it's single knockout. So anything can happen, really. But for, like, what is this? This is a joke for a 4EA. 4EA is just a joke to put me in a 10 game losing streak, isn't it? It's just a complete joke. Look at this. We lose 4 to nothing against Arizona of all people. Like, what is this ridiculous game? And we end up finishing the year with a 10 game losing streak. And still, somehow... Oh, we didn't even make it to the playoffs. Well, do, well, do you look at that? Because the Blackhawks clinched it because we lost 10 games in a row. Oh, my fucking A. We had the playoffs in our hands, guys. And we go into a 10-game losing streak. I hate this team. Now we got to go into the... Uh, I guess... It's over, I guess. We're just going to look at the stats individual-wise. All right, we're going to look at the stats and everything. We had a good team. We got a good defensive team. 
Uh, not a good uh, a D team in the, the offense wise, but it doesn't permit us to give four or six goals per game. Like that doesn't make sense at all. I want to look at the stats really quick for the playoffs. Uh, not the playoffs, the players. Forgot to uh, forgot about that. Sorry, guys. I'm so caught up in the fucking stats, like the uh, t uh, the ten game losing streak. I can't believe that even happened. Like, how are we gonna finish like that? Like, honestly. We don't have any third, uh, 30 goal scorer, that's a problem right there. We have Br Brassal, which is playing pretty good. He played very good for our team. Let's just look at our forwards, all right? Who did what this year, basically? Uh, Brassal played very good on the second line. He's a second liner. He needs to do 40 points. He did 64, which is really good. Uh, Jesper Fast, he's a second liner, all right? He did, he did good. He did good for a first liner. Uh, playing on the first line so you know he was minus eight one of our worst players in the minuses he did pretty good for points wise Vanek played very good uh, as well Riley Nash played good Andrew Shaw uh, played very good as well had a, a nice year uh, Brian Boyle third uh, I guess Brian Boyle what is he the third liner, so he did, he did well. He did well, Grabner, as well, playing on the first line. He got 30, uh, 30 points only. Imagine, 30 points in 49 games. He could have gotten 60 points or 70 points. Just like these two guys. But he got 30 points because he missed uh, half of the season, basically. So that's not good for him. Uh, he did a, still had a pretty decent year. And um, Darren Helm had a... a an awesome year. Same thing for now. Uh, Nordstrom, Letestu as well. Marjamaki, um, third liner. Actually, he's a third liner now. That's pretty good for us. He grew up to a 80, 80 overall. He's uh, 19 points. It's fine, I guess. He had a, we're gonna give him a chance. So Darlene, Darlene, um, he needs 30 points, so he did pretty fine. Orson as well. So. Most of these players did fine. Uh, Flurry, yeah, he did fine as well. I mean, no, actually, yeah, Flurry played well. Flurry and um, Grabauer both played well. It's not their fault. It's just the team in front of them. For some reason, they couldn't play well. Let's just look at the entire stats for the entire league. The best score was actually Shively. For some reason, it's not even o uh, o Ovechkin. So 51 goals. Best player. That's actually better. Really good stats from these players right now, guys. Shifley, 116 points. Liney, 115 points. Yo, the Jets are doing are going crazy. 109 points. What? This is like the uh, Mario Lemieux time and Wayne Gretzky. What the? F what is going on here? Like, uh, we're back in the Iron Jagger time right here with 150 points per season? What, what is going on here? What, what? This is crazy from their part. A Kessel, 100 points for Kessel. Crosby did pretty well, a 98. I'm just happy to see, I guess, all players doing so, so well. Now, defense-wise, they're still playing the same. Uh, Drew and Adi and everything, all right. And goaltender-wise... Who got the most amount of wins? 47 wins, Burbowski, Eliabak, Murray, Quick. All right, we got all these players. Even Luongo was in the best uh, goaltenders. That's, that's crazy in itself. Alrighty then, we got the stats right there. We're going to sim for sure now up to the draft. Uh, see who uh, retired. Man, I'm... I'm so I'm so done with this. We had a chance. We were right there. We, we were right there. We just need to literally. What did I say? What did I say? We had five games remaining. I said we needed to win one or two games only. We ended up losing all of them. Like why? Why is that a thing? Like, and we we do have two first liners as you can see. Two for first rounders. We got uh, ended up having the we got screwed over. So we got fourth. 14 and 15 position can probably move up to the uh, seventh position with that or fifth position even if we want to truly want to we'll probably want to because we want to get the best players available right now really i don't have time to waste uh, growing up play some players 
nobody really aside from Martin Erath, which was on our team. Um, he was playing as a deaf forward, I, I believe, or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. No, he was in the minors, actually. Um, so defense-wise, I guess, not nothing nobody, really. And goaltender-wise, nobody as well. So not, not, no, no legend whatsoever. Matt Hendricks became a, a scout for the Washington Capitals. Now, this is the draft. Let's see what we got. Do we only have the 14 and 15, or do we have more? We actually see three round picks, first rounders. So the 18th position as well, 28th position. We actually got four round, uh, draft picks. So we're going to use the 28th and the 18th position to go all the way to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Probably the 8th position. We can probably go all the way there, boys. I, I'm not going to lie. With uh, this, we got a lot right there. So these two, there, there, there we go. We can probably use these two to move up all the way to eighth position, which worked out. There we go. Okay, all right, we're good. Now we've got the 14 and 15 position. So all the way up to fourth overall. I can probably do that. I don't care about how many first rounders I've got boys it doesn't matter it's the best first rounder possible that you want to get so there we go I think we can either get uh, even get better than this so probably the first overall even probably the first overall so let's see if we can get the first overall with this uh, these two right there uh, probably not enough with the eighth round pick I probably can keep the A from pick, so I can probably just give them something that they would want. So something, say, along the lines of this guy, Hangman, right here, uh, Hagman, probably would work out. Actually, is not enough. Not enough. We got a, a minute and 30 here. Uh, Scrimes. Oh, my God. I don't. Maybe. I want to keep my low elites, so maybe this guy. Maybe this guy instead would work out. No, all right. So it's not going to be enough. But so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to uh, do a timeout. Ti I can't call timeouts. Fuck. Uh, they're going to get it. All right. Well, maybe I can get the third position. I can probably get the third round pick. I'm going to make this. I'm not going to get the first rounder because it's took too much time here so let's just try to get the third no all right we are gonna get the fourth overall then just get the fourth overall get it done with all right let's go um make it as quick the, the the screens are getting so slow guys all right we're getting the fourth draft uh, fourth rounder and the eighth rounder all right all right i'm liking this i'm liking it a lot uh, with the fourth rounder I can probably move up I'm not entirely sure let's just try it out we're gonna try to go for the first rounder let's uh, trade of course our fourth run uh, for another player as well let's see if we got anybody that he would want Let, let's try out Hagman now do they want him they I don't think they want Hagman to, to be honest so I'm probably gonna need if if there's a chance I could trade someone, I could probably trade uh, Naki, Navikov. Let's see if that's going to work out. It doesn't. All right. So we're just going to keep it. All right. We're going to keep what we have. We've got the fourth and eighth dra draft pick. And we're going to keep that. Uh, we couldn't get our hands on this guy. It would have been pretty nice to get our hands on that. Uh, 83 overall. But it's okay. We're going to just continue. We're going to... Uh, simulate that sparks 79 and we've got a 76 right here medium elite here's here's hoping that we can get something good anyways i can probably play on our team we got alex uh, alexis lafreniere of course a good player um actually he might be good enough to play in our team right away i think he might be guys and uh, we've got this guy which i'm not entirely sure but he might be as well good good enough so the, both of these guys I think are going to be good enough. 
We, it's either a, def, a defenseman or left winger. I think I'm going to take Lafreniere because I need more. Uh, I need forwards more than D-men. So I'm just going to pick a chance here and go for Lafreniere, I guess. Just go for him. So hope for the best, really. So 76 overall. All right. 76. I think he might be good enough. He's a depth four. forward. Okay. Depth forward. I might be able to play on the fourth line anyways. I think he's going to be good enough for me to play on the fourth line. All right. Let's just simulate now to use a pick. Let's see what we got in the meantime. Elite. So Dreber was a 78 overall. Much, well, better in, in stats, but he's still a depth. Uh, anyways, they're both depth uh, for, uh, players. Let's see what we can get now. Can we get something even uh, uh, good as well? Because we've got something right here. Another medium elite. So guaranteed. We don't want to make a ch take any chances here, but this guy might be good as well, but he's not guaranteed for, uh, to me. So we got a guaranteed right here. We're going to take him S since he's medium elite. He's guaranteed Hector Conley, unless I've got something better right here. Unless I do that, I've got something better. No, there is a low franchise uh, left winger actually. Very interesting, but all the way up at 140. So we got time to, to spare right here. So I'm just going to go for Conley. I'm going to get two medium elites right here. 64 overall. I'm loving it. Got a lot of a, a lot of prospects coming in our on our team, guys. So that's what I wanted to see. All right. That's what I wanted to see. We got some draft picks. Exchange. Exchanges. I don't know about that. Um, I don't want to do anything really. I'm not making any trades during the trade deadline, uh, during the draft pick itself. All right, I'm not doing that. Switching my my own things, I know, but not doing it. Now we do have a guarantee right here, so I'm picking the guarantees, guys, for sure. I'm picking the guarantees. This guy looks like he's going to be a good player. Let's just pick him up, Harrison. Low elite, 62 overall. Let's just pick the guarantees, make sure that we do have as much elites as possible on our team. Uh, this guy is actually a gem. He moved up. He's a uh, low top four. He looks like a good player. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. Do we have any low elites? I want to make sure that we don't have any more low elites in there. We do have a low elite, so... We're just going to go ahead and pick this guy up since he is a low elite. He's a guaranteed one. So I'm not taking any chances here. All right. 57 overall. Fine by me. So uh, there was a low elite right there. Okay. 63 overall. I want to see uh, what he was. I guess we're not going to see it. Nobody's going to pick him or something. No, I'm not taking anybody. All right. Let's just make that a draft pick happened we're in the 50th position so we still have time to make a good decision right here so we got some top nines right here i'm thinking uh maybe take some choice uh, chances on these guys he's a sniper but medium um yeah we might take a chance on this guy he might be good guys i think he's gonna end up being a medium sniper anyways but actually there's a top four player right here so I, I'm going to take the top four players. I'm, I'm going for this safe safe bets right here, guys. Safe bets. There we go. So still in the second round, too. So we got a lot of, uh, a lot of dra uh, draft picks when you think about it. <laughs> when you think about it, we've got a lot of draft picks. All right. So let's just, let's just see what we got in our uh, lineups. I wanted to see what the franchise player is like. Let's just take a chance on this guy, I guess. Uh, he's a low elite. All right, low elite. 69 overall. That's pretty nice. <laughs> pretty nice. 69 overall. Uh, he's 19 years of age, of course, but I feel like he could be a good player for us. Really good player. Now, we got that's a chance for us to get a lot of prospects too in our lineup, so that's really good. Uh, this guy is pretty much already a, a guaranteed low elite uh, in my point of view, so let's just pick him up. Uh, Nieminen, there we go, another low elite. We've got a bunch of low elites. We've got uh, a medium, uh, two medium elites as well as our fourth and eighth round pick uh, in total. 
So six top six right here. We don't have any more uh, elites and stuff. We do have that. So we do have this guy, which he's not completely. I'm not completely sure he's gonna be one uh, medium top six, but he is moving up. So we might as well pick him up. You know, we're gonna try our best here. HL top six. So this is our. This was a bust right there, but it's the seventh round pick, so it doesn't matter. Uh, a bust in the seventh round doesn't matter too much. Now we need two centers, all right? There's the free agents right here. We need two centers. We already got our first center, man. It looks like it's going to be Ala, Eric Ala. We don't have really best, uh, too many good uh, players this year uh, once again. For this, uh, six free agency is very weak in this game for some reason. So Eric Ala, I'm guessing I'm going to pick this guy up, guys. He's going to be there. Uh, there's a lot of people that want him, so we're gonna have to sign him for six million. I guess it's gonna it's gonna take a long. It's gonna be a big contract for him, I guess. A little bit too much for for my liking, but it is what it is. We've got uh, all these options right here. We can pick so Brian Bull, Eakin, Grenlin, or Lindbergh. Let's see who would be the best option, really. 84, 84. I'm looking at the end eye now as well. Looks like uh, so far it's uh, Lindbergh. We've got Cody Aiken, but he's not as good. Yeah, I'm going to pick up uh, Lindbergh. He's the best option right here. Best option for our team. Nobody wants him, so I can probably just sign him like that easily. We, got, we need left wingers. Left wingers, we only need one. Rick Nash is going to be our next uh, option, I guess it looks like. He's the 80, 82 overall. He's going to probably play with Riley Nash. Imagine the two Nashes playing together. That would be interesting. Fortunately, we're not going to get Grabner. I think we should probably just get the best overall, which is a which is uh, Rick Nash. Could probably look at other options just to make sure that we, there's nothing better than that. But I really doubt it. Yeah, there's nothing better. So it's really Rick Nash, the best option. Really interesting. We are going to get him. We're gonna have to sign him for a million more because there's some uh, there's one team that wants him uh, with me. So let's just sign him. We've got uh, we need a right wing, one white wing, a right wing in the only. So Jesper Fast is the best option. We're gonna need to sign him back again. There's three teams that want him. We're gonna need to sign him for six million. Then big contract for these players that we need to get. That's they are not that good compared to first liners and stuff and we need one for the miners as well a defense a right wing for the miners so anybody would do i just looking for the best option right here looks like versteeg is the best option we're just going to pick versteeg up right here and finally defense wise we need two defensemen we got a top four right here we can pick up finally there's a lot of teams that want him, so we're gonna need to sign him for six million as well. A lot of money, guys. Six million. There we go. And we've got our uh, second defenseman. Now we gotta choose wisely. It's between Sh uh, Schmaltz or Schuster. Uh, Sh uh, Schmaltz can probably grow again. Uh, I think he he's gonna become an exact anyways once the year is finished off. So Schmaltz looks like he's the best option. We're going to pick up Schmaltz, guys. Uh, he, he's got a couple of players available. Let's just sign him for 4 million then. Just to make sure that uh, we do have him. Looks like there's a trade that the Arizona Coyotes want to do. They want to get Rurodel, which is one of my def, uh, defensemen playing in the minors. So we're going to have to get something in exchange. Another defenseman in exchange. Rurodel is 78 overall. Death defenseman. We need to get something similar. Uh, I'm thinking maybe a Cal Capo Bianco. Or maybe 77 overall. Not terrible. Um, I can't go. Obviously, I can't get Bachfist. That's absolutely out of the idea. But I can probably get yeah, something like that. I guess I don't. I don't really know, guys. I don't like. What could I get? I guess seeing this guy could be a good option, really. He could probably be, but it's not. His value is too high up. I don't want to get something uh, that has that value. Probably something like that. This guy instead. I want to keep. I don't really care. 
Well, I don't really care. It's long. It's a it's a four a defenseman that's going to be playing in the minors, so it doesn't matter too much to me. Let's just advance the day again. And there we go. Let's see what we got. So a fifth position. Who accepted? Everyone accepted pretty much. Yeah, we got everyone on our team. Now we can finally go into the actual season. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to stop it right here. Uh, we're going to look at our lineups for the season itself uh, once uh, we are in the next video. All right, because right now it was a pretty long video just to get this done. I'm really... I'm hoping that the team is going to be better. Obviously, we haven't upgraded our team as much as I wanted to. It's not possible because the free agents, for some reason, there's no like first liners in the free agents. There's no elites. The only one we picked up was Fleury. The uh, only one in, was for last year. So I don't know what's going on. There's no free agents that are good at anything, really. Everybody's slang and everyone. So it's making it tough for us. We're j only picking up the second liners, third rounders, uh, liners. So it's it's being rough a little bit to us. It's being rough, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to see you guys for the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy.